down low to Moses Moody for Golden State. Works his way to the free throw line. Right side Peyton out of clay. Outside the low box against Pritchard. Spins, turns, fires short. Tice the rebound with 439 left. To shoot. Finds Hauser left angle three. In and out. Rebounded. Oh, Peyton couldn't hang on. Saved it on the end line to Moses Moody, though, with 415 left. You know, Hauser's got a yeah. wicked fast release. Sam Hauser, who transferred to Virginia late, was on a two-way deal, went to a standard contract. Pass down low, Looney with a flush. Four minutes to go, Warriors leading 102-78. Peyton Pritchard, the lead for the Celtics, who took game one here on the road, and will be taking a split, the coveted split, Back to pressure, sneaky to have all the Andre Iguodala who had played. It was only his 10th game since January 20th. Apparently, his right knee had flared up after playing, and they figure two they have Gordon Poole, and oftentimes, Clay you are not against a team that's got this many offensive weapons going to win on the road when you're gifting them buckets and fuel in transition. Well, we got the uh, end of the benches in now for the final three and a half minutes. Missed it end of the clock. And it's rebounded by Nick Stauskas, veteran sharpshooter who's been around the NBA a few times. Luke Cornett getting his first run now for Boston with three minutes to go. Over to Neesmith on the drive down the lane, off the window and in for Aaron Neesmith. We ever get our uh, Monica McNutt nugget in that, that she told us uh, going back to the first quarter, 13 points off turnovers in the first quarter by the Warriors. That's the most in any postseason. Any uh, finals postseason quarter. And that helped set the tone here tonight. Oh, did it ever. Kept Golden State in the game. Remember, Boston started off pretty strong as Luke Cornett on a pick and roll, able to grab it and slam it with two and a half minutes to go. The Warriors were able to withstand that. We went back and forth. Eight lead changes, seven ties in the first half. We had a two-point game at halftime. And the Warriors had their typical third quarter knockout punch. Wasn't a standing eight like we saw in game one. No. <laughs> it was the knockout blow. And Jordan Poole will help author it. Hits another three off the bench. His fifth of game two. Get back to that point Doris made. You know, who knows if Steve doesn't throw him back in with a minute 19 to go in the third quarter.